get back into proper order and they're coming out of turn number four looking for a green and we've got it as we come down the front straightaway and Stan Atherton goes from the outside into the turn first. He puts Billy Feltz in second spot, Kirk Sturgeon in third and Roger Newell running fourth. They set up for turn number three up at the north end of the racetrack as they bring them around. And Sturgeon's going to lose a position as they come out of four. He loses two positions. The leader is Stan Atherton, followed by Billy Feltz. Roger Newell moves up into third spot. And Leroy Shaver is running fourth with Sturgeon in fifth. Again, they are up in turn number three as the leader tries to get away from the rest of the pack. That being Stan Atherton, we're going to have problems over in turn number three. A car gets sideways, he keeps it going, and there will not be a yellow as Mike Lang kept it going. So we're still racing. Billy Feltz in car number 29 is running in second position. The leader continues to be Stan Atherton in double zero. Atherton down the front straightaway, followed by Billy Feltz. is Kirk Sturgeon, and he's followed by car number 72, Glenn Nesbitt. A look at the car of Roger Newell as he goes into turn number three, running into third spot. Down the front straightaway comes the leader in the double zero car, Stan Atherton. Again, the cars bunch up between three and four, but they keep them all going. As they come down the front straightaway and all go into turn number one. Back to the front of the pack. You can see as that car picks up the front end and sets it back down the leader. Away from everybody else is Stan Atherton. But gaining on him in car number 29 is Billy Feltz. Feltz is getting closer to the leader. Stan Atherton out front with Billy Feltz right behind him as we are working on lap number six. Halfway through the semi-final event. They come down to get the cross flags from the starter indicating they are halfway through. The Fullerton driver Stan Atherton with the lead but being chased by Billy Feltz who starts to reel him in going up the back straightaway. Feltz gets closer as they dive into turn number three. Feltz goes down to the inside of the racetrack trying to make the distance shorter as he comes out of turn number four. He's still in second spot. Atherton up front. Feltz is second. Those two cars away from the rest of the pack. It's about a ten car distance back to the third place car of Roger Newell. The leader sets up for turn number three. See him drift around to the outside of the racetrack as Billy Feltz tries to stay within striking distance. Again down the front shoot, and into turn number one. We've completed eight laps, less than four left to go. Up the back shoot they go at speed. Stan Atherton now gets a little more distance between himself and the second place car of Billy Feltz. Atherton trying to stay away from the possible challenge from the second place car. Cars completely surround the race track now as the single file race goes through the track and the leader is about to catch up to the back of the pack as he comes out of turn number four. There's car number 57 of Leroy Shaver setting up for turn number three. Shaver down the front chute and into turn number one. Beautiful blue car for the driver from Anaheim. The leader is in traffic as he comes out of turn number four. And the move over flag is displayed at the same time the white flag is out. One lap left to go as the leader's on the back straightaway. One half lap for him now as he sets up to go into turn number three. Stan Atherton will be looking for the checkered flag. He comes down the front straightaway and Stan Atherton will win the race. 